In this next topic, we've got a sneak peek from our favorite Tesla hacker of a new software update that's got some interesting features that might be coming down the pipeline. Maybe not the best features, but let's take a look at it. But if you're just joining in, my name is Dennis. I love talking about Tesla hacking, so definitely hit that subscribe if you're interested. Green, shout out to Green the Only, peaked a bit into 2023.38, which is the latest software that has not come out. Lots of stuff seemed to be in motion. The first one is congestion fees added. In parentheses, if you charge over 80% on a congested supercharger, charger, this leads me to believe that that means that Tesla will go ahead and charge you even more money, maybe a higher rate if you charge past 80% because they do not want you to stay at that supercharger. They want you to move and turn and have someone else charge at that supercharger. Pretty interesting there because we know that, it, well, if you didn't know, when you go to a supercharger past like 65%, maybe even 70%, the charge speed rate starts to diminish very, very quickly because of how the technology works. And so certainly they do not want you to stick around and linger all the way up to 100%. Next one, object on road, pushed by map service ways like, but detected by other Tesla car visions. I really like this because sometimes you're on autopilot, the vehicle might not actually detect what's on the road. So having people use a regenerator report, it might be a good thing so that less accidents can happen the last one is option to auto dial 911 on air blag deploy a safety feature for sure some of the vehicles have this now with like their concierge service if there's some sort of accident detected it automatically calls 911 but if you're interested in the current release loads notes for the latest software version 2023.38.4 shout out to tesla north for posting this we've got some other Interesting features being rolled out. Predictive charger availability, trying to forecast to see what type of availability and wait time might be at an actual supercharger. We also got minor adjustments to the window during software updates. The windows will minimally adjust to allow the doors to open. We've got a new game called Multiplayer Vampire Survivors. Very cool if you're bored at a supercharger. And lastly, the update includes a location feature. An icon will appear at the top of this vehicle's screen, touchscreen, when an app requests the vehicle's live location location really cool to see because if you know when you have a tesla vehicle you can track your vehicle wherever it's at and i guess if someone's tracking your vehicle it will alert someone whoever's driving that someone is tracking your vehicle but definitely some pretty interesting stuff but thanks for jumping in everybody thanks for supporting smart blind watch i got a model three a couple of weeks three months ago but probably the best choice my msrp 38k not nice Henry Fong, no thank you thanks for coming in and a smart blind watch it's not available not to supercharge regularly for the best battery life yes it is Supposedly, it's not available, not the best uh, for the battery life, but a lot of people have been doing it. And there's even some tests that show that maybe it's not that bad at the end of the day. But thanks for watching, everybody. Thanks for supporting. Thanks for hitting.